I'm a little nervous for SNL. Um, I've done live television in Europe, but never in America, no TV here yet. Um, so, you know, you just hope it goes well and you don't f up. Um, but I'm just, um, I love the two songs I'm gonna do on it, so. And my band is really good and they're gonna be with me. So, I'm sure it'll be good. I guess people would be surprised to know that I live a very quiet life, a really normal life. Um, I do a lot of the same things every day when I'm home. Um, I still have my same babysitting job. I'm surprised to learn that you still babysit. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about that? Like how, is this like a, like a standing job you've had for years? How often do you babysit? I babysit twice a week. <laughs> um, it's just something, when I'm here, when I'm here, it's what I do. Um, but it's just because it's something I've been doing for <laughs> a while. But I have been traveling a lot, so. Do you, uh, how old are the kids you babysit? I'm like it's fascinated one. by this. It's just one, and okay. he's 10. Does he know that you have this like new life? <laughs> um, actually, yeah. He's like, he's very with it. I have an unfavorite video game, which is World of Warcraft, because it consumes every man in my life's life. Um, other than that, the only video game I know how to play is like Mario Kart. <laughs> My sister and I were spending a lot of time in Miami and we have a lot of friends there from Cuba and we were mm, going out at night and I, this was for a while and I knew that I wanted um, a name that sounded sort of exotic and reminded me of like the seaside on the Floridian coast and Lana Del Rey sounded beautiful to me and I was just um, I just wanted a name for the music that I could start shaping the music towards. Just, yeah, something beautiful. That's cool. It does have a very destination-like... <laughs> Vacation <feel>. destination <laughs> feel. No, but like, you know, like a Palm Springs in its heyday sort of thing. It does. It does. You got the golden Kanye tweet. The golden, oh God. <laughs> the, the highly coveted. How did it feel to get tweeted by Kanye? And has he reached out to you at all? Um, uh, very cool to be tweeted by Kanye. Um, I think he tweeted because he, I know he's really interested in architecture and he, I think he really liked um, the inside of the Fountain Blue in Paris. So I think he was as interested in like the setting of the of the video as he was in the song. And um, uh, no, he hasn't reached out. So I think he just likes the video. My love life? Yeah, I have a boyfriend. Um, he's, he's really nice. He's in music, but not a musician. Um, and interesting guy. <laughs> Lately, I've been revisiting um, some books that I read a few years ago. Um, I was reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. He studied Andrew Carnegie and Rockefeller and sort of how they came to be where they were at the point in their lives when he was studying them. Um, so, what else? Um, yeah. Nobody really um, found anything intriguing about me for many years. I think it was just time probably to start looking at somebody else. And I mean, I am a good musician and I love to sing, so maybe people just um, liked the songs. You know, it's like when you love to write and you love to sing and people don't really pay attention to your music for a long time, it's an honor to have anyone appreciate it, whether it's, you know, someone in politics or a good musician that you like. It's always a really different kind of experience when you go from doing things alone for a long time to having recognition from um, other people that, you know, you consider to be talented. It's fun. Well,